Well, I just wrapped up a couple videos on uh, common questions that I've gotten uh, on the uh, YouTube channel. And the um, most common question of all is missing. Um, it seems like just about every week or every other week I get a question, get a question about this topic. So I thought I'd do a whole video on it. And basically, it's, is there anybody who can guide us around the Black Hills, or are there any Black Hills guides or anything like that? And the answer is no, and I'm not going to tell you why. Uh, the Forest Service has a system uh, that they call outfitters, and I think this is throughout the National Park Service. And uh, what you have to do is you have to be a licensed outfitter in order to um, provide tours of any kind in, in the Black Hills National Forest. Um, and in addition to that, if you take a group on a tour, you have to inform the Forest Service exactly when you're leaving, right down to the day and the hour, where you're going, and when the tour is going to finish. Uh, you also have to provide uh, a list of the people who are on the tour, and you have to show proof of insurance. <clears throat> well, as a practical matter, this only works if, say, you're a tour operator in, say, Des Moines, Iowa, and you put together a, a, a group that of ATV people who want to ride in the Black Hills. Uh, so several weeks before you're ready to leave, you contact the Black Hills National Forest. You tell them who all is on your tour, <clears throat> when you're going to be riding in the hills, where you're going to be riding in the hills, and then they give you permission to do it. Uh, that pretty much eliminates the possibility of anybody getting together on, say, a, a morning or the day before a ride and uh, organizing a ride and taking a group of people out. You, you just simply can't do it. Um, and it's not just for ATVs. It's, it's for any kind of organized event uh, in the Black Hills. <clears throat> the uh, outfit that runs the Holy Terror Mine uh, in uh, Keystone here wanted to take some people out and show them some actual gold mines in the hills <clears throat> and they were unable to do it as well um, so in order to put together a group uh, and actually t have a guided tour or anything like that uh, it's virtually impossible the other thing is people often ask for maps you know, or have want us or somebody to draw a map and say, you know, where should we go? And um, I recently talked to one of the vendors who uh, wanted to be able to sell the, the park or the, the trail passes from their store. Um, this is only a recent program that's only been available for the last few years. Um, but if a person wants to to offer ATV trail passes, they have to go to school. And this takes about a half day. They go they go in, the Forest Service instructs them how to fill out the forms, what information they need. And uh, tellingly, they also tell them how to distribute these maps. This is the maps they distribute. And the people who sell these maps are specifically instructed to not tell people where to ride. And they said, if, if you're selling the, the trail pass, and you open up a map like this, and you show it to somebody, and you actually draw a line on it where they can go, if those people go out on that trail, this is according to the Forest Service, this, the map school, or the, the permit school, if these people go out on that trail, and you've marked it on their map, and they're injured, they can come back on you legally, because... You know, there may be a very small legal grounds for it, but 
but uh, as you know, lawyers can be pretty hungry and blood-sucking, so uh, if somebody's hurt, they'll say, well, it's their fault, they told me to go there, even though I'm not qualified to ride on that trail. They should have known better. So the Forest Service sp specifically tells people who sell the, the, the trail passes to not touch the map in any way. If they, if they, if a person wants to draw something on the map, uh, if they have to draw it themselves, okay? And the Forest Service even recommends that you don't say a particular trail. Um, you can say that, well, here's an area with lots of trails, or here's an area with rocky trails, or here's an area with uh, grassy trails. Uh, here's an area that, that might be difficult, but conversely you can't say it might be easy. <laughs> uh, so, so you're very limited as to the, the, the information that you can give, uh, and unfortunately that's the only way it works. So in answer to the, the basic question that I get probably more than any other is no, there are no uh, trail guides in the Black Hills for any kind of riding. Okay, that's uh, all I had to say on this topic. If you find this useful, um, and some people might, uh, go ahead and, and uh, give us a thumbs up on uh, YouTube. We always appreciate the thumbs up. Um, and if we try to release a video like this uh, once or twice a month, so if you want to see future videos, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, again, thanks a lot if you're still with me. Have a good day.